happy new week. Let's hope for an amazing and fruitful new week. Let's hope that it's a week that will win every single ticket that we put out. Talking about yesterday, we gave out two tickets and we won one. The two plus odd. It was a ticket that I shared on Telegram. You guys have seen how uh, you know this season is turning out to be. Uh, it's not as predictable and easy to win as before. So we need to be extremely careful with the matches that we are selecting. Okay. So we won the two plus odds. And I'm sure a lot of you got on these two plus odds because I usually tell you, if you do not know how to edit games, just play the game that I share on our Telegram channel. Those games have a 90 to 95% guarantee of success. All right. Um, the second ticket, well, uh, we had a few teams that messed us up. Usually weekends are very funny. So I have a very important announcement. Uh, the first one is, if you are someone who is really struggling to edit games and win, like when I share two videos and you really do not know what to do and how to do it, then I would strongly encourage you to join our you know, VIP service or program, which allows you to you know, access games that we've carefully edited. And we've been doing very, very well. When you check our general Telegram channel, you see that we are doing very well. So to for more information, just join our Telegram channel. A lot of people will be asking, how, how, what, how do I join? Please just join the Telegram channel. The link to it is in the comment section. You'll find my contact detail there. And we can take it up from there. So this is strictly for individuals who cannot edit matches, who need help. You know who needs somebody to pre-select these matches it is not for everybody only for individuals who struggle with this process the second thing is i have thought deeply about the 1.5 rollover and i have reflected heavily on it and the truth of the matter is we've entered into a very very interesting period in this season and we need to be extra careful you can see that a lot of teams have started selling matches. Look at Juventus. <laughs> Juventus, you know, lost that game. I mean, when I was doing the analysis, what did I tell you guys? I told you guys that I don't trust Juventus. But I knew goals were going to happen. So Juventus went on to draw a game that had a 1.15 out of, 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 of winning. Isn't that crazy? You know, that's a sold game. They've sold those matches or that very match to these bookies. So th th this is the period we've entered into football. We need to be extra careful. I, I, I do spend a lot of time analyzing each and every one of the games that we play here because these are very, very interesting times right now. Okay. So because of that, I, I don't think it is feasible for us to continue with the 1.5 rollover. Um, someone said something in the comment section, I think yesterday or two days ago, that we already have a program that is working. Why change it? What we have here is working already. Right? We get to win two tickets. Or if things don't go well, we, we, we win one out of two. Every time. Last week, we won a lot of, we won like four plus or three plus or two tickets every day most of the days so let's stick to this program because i do not know how introducing 1.5 rollover will affect sorry will have an effect on the general art that we provide so please let me know in the comment section what do you guys think because what i was thinking was i provide the two plus odds then the second video i provide three plus odds three or four plus odds or more for people who want big odds, who want to edit. So that's what I was thinking. You know, we continue with those two videos. Please let me know in the comment section. Without wasting time, let's get into the games. Uh, the very first game we have is Barcelona Real Society. It's an interesting game, right? It's a very, very interesting game. So yesterday I told you guys or asked that you provide the scoreline for the game involving um, Manchester United and Arsenal. Nobody got it right. I really hope that today that people or somebody will get 
Barcelona Real Sociedad game, correct? So please, in the comment section, as you are providing answers to the other questions that I asked, please let me know uh, in the comment section the correct scoreline for Barcelona and, and Real Sociedad. And let's see who will make it to our wall of fame. When you look at uh, Barcelona at home, uh, this is a team that is doing very well. They've won four out of five matches. The last game they lost was in the Champions League, and it's understandable. When you expand to five games, they've lost uh, twice, right? They've lost twice uh, at home. Uh, this loss to Villarreal was very shocking, and it was at the start of the year. But they've gone five months, nearly six months from that time, without losing a league game at home. So what am I predicting? When you look at Real Society, Real Society has equally been in very good form. But there's a reason why I'm hoping that Barcelona will win or draw this game. You need to check the standings. When you check the standings, you see something interesting. You realize that Barcelona is position three. They haven't really or totally qualified for the Champions League yet. As you can see, Spain has four slots. The point difference between Barcelona and Atletico Madrid is three, three points. Right? And I think Barcelona wouldn't want to get dragged to uh, fourth position. On top of that, they still have, I think, four or so league matches to go. So what am I predicting? My prediction is simple. I think this team will have everything in them to win or draw in 90 minutes. So I'm double chancing Barcelona to win or draw this fixture in 90 minutes. And the odd for Barcelona to win or draw in 90 minutes is 1.21. The next fixture is from the Sweden division. It's a game involving Al Jenhorn and Falkenberg. When you take a look at the home team, they're averaging a minimum of 2.5 goals at home. Falkenberg is averaging a minimum of 2.5 goals away from home as well. Head to head shows that this fixture has always produced two or more goals whenever they play, every single time. We need to check their standings, and when you you do, you realize that the home team, it's a new league that has just started, and the home team is position six. They want to win this game, score a couple of goals, and move up the table. The away team is position three, and they want to consolidate their position. This fixture will produce goals, and I'm going with. The option of one over 1.5 goals in 90 minutes and the odd for over 1.5 goals in 90 minutes is 1.60 the next fixture we have here is from the italy Serie a game involving florentina and monza florentina has been in very very good form uh, they haven't lost a single game in five matches monza has only won twice away from home when you check head to head, it's a fixture that Fiorentina has had success. It's also important we check the standings to truly understand who really needs this game because it has come to a point where you have to bet on a team or bank on a team that needs that truly needs a game, right? If you do anything different from that, then you really be in trouble. So when you look at Fiorentina, Fiorentina wants to get into the top seven. Right. They still have two games outstanding, and if they get to win those games, they can get into the top eight and be eligible for the Europa Conference League. They will definitely want to participate in Europe 100%. And just a one point separates them from getting into the top eight. So, what am I predicting? When you look, since Virginia has such excellent home form, the last time they lost was to AC Milan. And you know AC Milan is in the top four. Let's see the last time they also lost again. They also lost to Inter Milan. So they've mostly lost to teams that are in the top two of the table. So my prediction is simple. I'm going with a draw no bet for Fiorentina. Fiorentina will beat Monza because when you check Monza, Monza has nothing they are playing for, Right? Monza is position 12. They have nothing they're playing for at the moment. They've already secured, um, you know, Italian Serie A survival. So they have nothing they're playing for. 
So a draw no bid for Fiorentina is 1.23. Finally, we have from the Belgium Drupilla Pro League, we have Club Brugge and Royal Union. When you look at uh, Club Brugge, they're averaging a minimum of 2.5 goals at home. Real Union is averaging a minimum of two goals away from home. Four out of their last five matches has produced two or more goals. Head to head shows that this fixture, four out of the last five times they've played, has produced two or more goals. It's also important we check their standings. And when you do, something interesting is, uh, you know, you get to see. When you check the standings, you see that Club Brugge is position two, right? Real Union is position three. They're all trying to see how they can, you know, move ahead of each other in this league. And given that this is a fixture that produces goals whenever they meet, you can be rest assured that they, they are definitely going to be very competitive and they will score a lot of goals. So I'm going with the option of over two goals and the odd for over two goals is 1.37. You have your booking code here. Please remember to like this video. Remember to subscribe to this channel. Remember to share with your friends and join our Telegram channel in the pinned comment section. I love you guys.